Hi and welcome to Rocks Campers. This is just going to be a quick video to show you how to connect the gas bottle and use the gas hob in our camper van. So on the front section of the kitchen unit, this cupboard here is where you have your gas locker. So we'll just go over that part quickly. Um, hopefully we can get the lighting okay in here. So you just want to unlock this and uh, the, the gas will be disconnected. So there's your gas bottle with your regulator. So first of all, what you want to do is just pull this regulator out pop that to the side so it's out of the way and then you can undo this strap here to release the gas bottle and I'll try and do this pop the camera down for a minute getting the gas bottle out you just want to pull it towards you and then you can just lift it out okay so this next bit can be a bit fiddly but we'll see what we can do so first of all you just want to undo this top cap off the gas bottle and put that to one side and you want to get your regulator and what I find easiest here is if you tilt the gas bottle and then actually sort of try and hold it in one hand it makes it a bit easier to spin so what we're going to do is put the regulator just rest it there gently on top and then just slowly start to spin that gas bottle making sure that that thread engages properly on the top of the regulator now once you've got a couple of turns in you'll actually be able to release it then what you can do is just finish spinning that gas bottle on the on the bottom do that up hand tight and then this black dial here on the side you just want to open that one up now that's your gas bottle connected and the gas flow is open so now we'll just go on putting it back into the locker All right now it's a little bit hard to see with the lighting on the camera but there's this black strap here so what um, i find easiest is if you just get this black strap tucked out of the way here and then what we're going to do is put the gas bottle back into that corner. So putting the bottle in is the same as getting it out. Tilt the bottom in first. And then once that's in there, you just want to push this orange um, pipe to the back. And then you can drop that in there. Once the gas bottle's in, just turn it around by hand just until it sort of naturally wants to curl up this orange pipe and then you can tuck that away like that. So see that? That's our orange pipe just wants to naturally curl around there. And then you just push the gas bottle into that far corner up here because you just want to keep um, this air vent down here. Um, this one, just underneath that pipe. Just want to keep that air vent there free. And then what you want to do is just reach behind here and grab that other side of that black strap. And then we're just going to clip that in. Okay, and then just push that gas bottle into the corner. Make sure that strap's nice and tight. Tuck that orange pipe down the side. And then now that's all secured, you'll see that gas vent is nice and clear. And then we just simply close the locker up. Okay, so now the gas is all connected up, we'll just go through lighting the hob. The first thing you want to do is just pop this lever down and just open the window a fraction so we have a bit of airflow. Um, it's also good to have the sliding door open as well. So you lift up these. And then in terms of igniting the hob, it's very simple. You've got the two dials here for the left and right hobs. So all you need to do is turn one of them and you have to turn and hold it down while you ignite it. So hold it down till you hear the gas and then just click the button and then there we go, it's turned on. And then obviously simply just turn it off. And then now we'll go through how to disconnect the gas bottle because we must disconnect the gas and have it turned off before you travel. Okay, so disconnecting the gas, it really is just the reverse of what we've just done. So we're gonna open the locker. First thing I like to do is just reach in here while it's all in position and just turn this dial off, turn it all the way in. And then you come back up to the gas hob again making sure you've got some ventilation just turn the dial till you hear the gas come out and that's the last bit of the gas in the pipe emptying out so there once you hear that stop turn it off again and then now we'll disconnect the bottle okay so we've turned our dial off here we've released the gas from the pipe work so now we're just going to remove this strap here and then what we can do is just get the top of the bottle and then just pull it forwards towards us
And then again, just like before, tilt the bottle forwards and then we're just going to slowly spin that off. You will hear another small bit of gas release as the regulator empties out, just as the bottle comes off. So once that's off, we get our cap again and we just screw that into the top of the gas bottle and then that's all secured. Right, just to make life easier for ourselves, I just like to make sure that's strapped in the right position again, make sure this regulator hose is all the way off to the right hand side and then we're just going to tilt that bottle back in. push it back into that corner and then what we're going to do is just reach behind there and then get that strap again and then feed that through so it secures the gas bottle and then with this regulator hose we're just going to again twist that like it naturally wants to so it just sits on the top there make sure the gas bottle is all tucked in the corner and that straps tight and then you can lock it up and that is really how to use the gas and the gas cooker on our camper van so i hope you found that video helpful we are going to be doing videos on each individual part of the van here so you know how to use all parts of the camper van when you're out and about on the road um, please give us a like thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and uh, also we'll put the links to our social media in the description as well so yeah check back in and we'll have some more videos soon thanks then bye for now